welcome back. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing quite well myself. Uh, we have just finished off harvesting a field of beets. Uh, my job has been to be available to empty out the beet harvester uh, and deliver it to the sales station. Uh, I think we've been there before. But um, I think this field is to the west, this town or village. It's quite a distance to drive, especially if you pull two trailers, which I'm doing. I'm not fully loaded, but we, like I said, we're finished off. We're done. So this is the last thing need to be done, and then just return the trailers and the tractor and pick up my car. And, and we take it from there. Um, the, the farmer, <laughs> his equipment is not the ideal for this type of job. Well, it works great for the type of job, except it's just it doesn't work too well with the field. Because it was very hilly. So the tractors have trouble making up the hill, which meant that it took longer to get done. But we get there eventually. It's like late afternoon, something like that, early evening. Not quite sure, doesn't really matter. Okay. Start empty out. What we have here, and once the farmer got what he's wanted, the rest is mine. Wasn't that much in that one. The, the other one behind is, is full though. There we go. Yeah, there he is. Um, I've been having a lot of misfortune as of late. It started out well enough, but now it's not doing too good. Um, so what happened is that my car broke down. I, like, seriously broke down. Um, it's going to cost me a lot to fix it, and because of the, the, the severe damage to the car, um, it wasn't worth a lot. Maybe just scrap value, which meant I didn't get too much money from it, for it. Luckily though, I was able to purchase another car. Not the ideal car, but it's, it's a car that works for me on the farm, so... Um, yeah, so I had to spend a bunch of money, which is a shame, because I already spent a bunch of money on other equipment and stuff, so I am close to broke, <laughs> which is why I took this job to deliver beets. It's not the ideal job. It's, it's a lot of work. Uh, it takes a long... It takes a lot of trips back and forth, delivering the, the beet to the processing plant, and then... Um, yeah. Some periods of waiting, because the beet harvester fills up real quickly. So, so the vehicles used for this job was, was I would say, underdimensioned. Um, this tractor seems to be more powerful, this, this uh, John Deere, compared to the other one. Uh, but it's not. It's slower. Um, the class that was used uh, to harvest the beets, that one is more powerful. But it's also faster, which means that I could have made the deliveries and back at quicker pace. But 
both of them really struggled to get up the the hill at the back of the field so it is what it is I wait for the harvester to fill up the trailers that I have and then as I'm taking off to deliver it to the processing plant the harvester fills up and then he has to wait for me to get back so it's a lot of waiting back and forth um, I, I would believe that maybe a, a mother bin or a chaser bin would have been ideal because then the harvester can keep going just have to get out into the bin and I, when I come back I just load from the bin um, I believe that would have been a quicker option but then again the better, better, better option would be to actually have vehicles and equipment that is adequate for the job. Um, so we're getting in here through the forest. It is just a beautiful place though. Um, some high hills on that side of course. A little bit of a uphill here. Struggling with an empty couple of trailers in the back. So I'm Again, just as, as normal, I just park it, the farmer handles it, check over the field, pay me and the other guy uh, tomorrow. I, I still have some money left, it's just not a lot. Um, and after I do this, I need to go back to the dealership because uh, I bought some stuff there that I was going to load onto my trailer that I bought. So, um, yeah, and then I had to lease some equipment as well, because, like I said, I ran out of money. Not that I had enough money to buy everything, though, no way. But I, I still had a bit more than before. Um, I, and more than I would have had if... car hadn't broken down so as I get a new one you can see it there parked by the trees it's a flatbed truck kind of kit kind of thing so I just park this one here on this side here yeah it should be good enough I think. okay so yeah this is a grim a or grim whatever Something, something. Very powerful, but doesn't have a big storage capacity. And this is my, well, I wouldn't say new tractor, but it, a truck, but it's, it's mine. Not ideal, but it gets the work done. Which is all I'm asking for at this time. So, let's get back to I'm glad it wasn't that field of beets that we were doing. It was the smaller one. But still, it took a long time. That one you definitely need better equipment for. You can't just keep going with the couple of other dimension tractors and things like that. Maybe if we had like one more tractor, one more worker to help with, um, you know, me and another guy were taking one trailer each and then just a third guy or the farmer himself maybe um, would harvest the beets and emptying out into the trailer then it would be more of a back and forth not so much waiting time I think but yeah well just glad I got a job though a lot of things are being harvested this month but this time of year is fall. So, a lot of work to be done, but it's about being, being selected to do the job as well. Not always you get to be doing the job you want. Sometimes you, well, most of the time, you have to do the job you get because you need the money. But this is great. A 
So it's going to, because of the mishap with my car, it's going to push me back in my plans for the future. However, I did already invest some money into the future, so maybe it won't take too much longer compared to if I have not done that. Um, it's always good to have a nest egg, have some money saved up just in case you run into some trouble like I did today. But hopefully you don't. Um, I mean, you do expect the car to give you a little bit of warning before it just breaks down on you. But yeah. this time I didn't get that much of a warning. Okay, getting in here. And um, yeah, park the trailer out in the back. Be there. Yeah, there it is. Look this up. Okay, off we go. Back home. Path here. They're well recognizable path, road, street, lane. Yeah, pick a word. Okay. I guess it's not too late. The sun's still up. Should be able to finish off this project here um, that I have. I hope. And then, um, yeah, I'm then I'm gonna have a I think an early dinner. Uh, it hasn't been physically demanding work today, but it's been mentally draining. A lot of waiting around and such. So, yeah, just finish off this stuff that I need with uh, the seed I got back here. And then we, well, call it a night, I guess. I don't know how much that field would cost. That piece of land there, I'll get a piece of land, be able to build uh, some sheds and stuff, and then fields. I think that ideally would be to, you know, maybe use my own current land as my garage kind of thing. There isn't much traffic around here, and then buy the fields around it. That way, I can you know, bring about large equipment and all that, and not have to worry too much about getting stuck in traffic and whatnot. But yeah, it's still sometimes down the line. It's not gonna happen anytime soon, I think. Right now I just own this car and the trailer. Okay, so I put up some fence here and I had the city pulled in the water to my land, so this water tank is on my land. The, the issue is that I had to place it on this edge because it was too expensive to keep pulling pipes all the way over to my house over here. And I just put up some fence just to, you know, protect it so people don't drive over it, or me don't drive over it. But, yeah, I mean, I, it is a lot of land that I have here. I could make some good use of it. Uh, as you can see, I have a greenhouse as well that I got, but I needed to get the seeds, so I will. I wonder if I can get through here. 
Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we'll just park here. And this is the equipment I leased. The telehandler and the forklifts. that didn't make it super easy for me to get it. Maybe I should be able to get it too. Oh. Don't want to hit. Oh, it's no worries. Just include the seed here. I already filled up the water. The seed is the last thing that I need. I hope I can get this working. Maybe it's on the other side then. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. Uh, it's a nice piece of building, isn't it? One second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to load in the seeds manually. But now that's done. Well, we can drop this off here. Oh, there we go. it over here. Okay, so there is water, there is tea, there is lime, so it should be working now I think, which is great. See what I can get. Um, yeah, I don't need to refill my water. I suppose to have, I have a water tank back there. I forgot about that one. But yeah, this is this is me. This is my place. I'm gonna work things out. So, let's just park here. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> um, I get paid tomorrow. It's going to be a nice little chunk of change. 
Um, then see what job is available as well. I need to work my butt off to make more money so I can expand whatever it is I'm doing here. Like uh, sell whatever produce I have. Um, looking into getting a, a cold storage. So maybe I can freeze some stuff. That way I can keep it longer, otherwise right, as it is right now I'd have to sell it as soon as I produce it when it's ripe. But if, if I do get um, some ability to maybe build some cold storage area here, then I can keep it and just sell when there is a need instead. I think that would be a better option, but we'll see how that goes. There is really no right or wrong way to do things. But yeah, so that's that, and I think I will call it a night. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope I see you next time. Until then, please do take care. Bye-bye.